hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you a very interesting tool which is available inside visual studio code text editor so it's called as quaker editor you can see here this is very much useful in those situations when you are typing your code and you want to see instant result inside your editor you don't want to open the browser something like this so it will also troubleshoot your code it will tell you exactly the location where your error take place so it will have various colors green red all that such stuff so i will be showing you step by step how to install this extension so it's a paid extension you can use the free trial also for 12 days it's a community edition so it comes with live code execution and results in the editor itself it is available for all the editors if you have atom i have visual studio code installed so i will be using its extension so it's available for both the editors brackets uh, all the famous editors that you use so this is the visual studio code text editor so these are some other features out there live code execution time machine live code coverage uh, live logging so it will also live value display so the license unlimited value explorer so license you will see it is 50 dollars you can see that it is there the community edition is free for all you can see and for 12 days you can switch to pro version so uh, let me just show you step by step how you can install this so let me close this editor here and uh, open this inside visual studio code text editor so the very first thing we need to do is that we need to go to the extension tab and just search for quaka here quaka extension and you will see that simply install this extension it will hardly take five seconds to install this after that close this and now you need to press the command here Control shift p on windows simply press this command and you will get these options here quaka create new javascript file and first of all you need to go to the if you want to try out the pro audition for 12 days before buying this simply click this option here and what it will do is that it will prompt you to enter your email address and then they will send out a license key i have already done that so you can see you need to enter your email address and then you need to press that to activate license key so I, I, I have already done that i have received an email here you will see quaka pro license so they'll send me this key here so this is valid i can try out this pro, uh, pro version for 12 days so after doing that simply press this command again control shift p and then you what you need to do is that you need to create a javascript file so this is valid for javascript and typescript code so now you can see that now we have a simple quaka file here inside this we can declare a variable so you will see it will instantly it will show the error to be inside red here and you will find some more description in the console here you will see unexpected token so you need not have to open browser again and again to find the error so this will significantly reduce time in programming whenever you are programming so let me declare a variable const a5 and whenever it changes to green so it it is saying that this code is correct so now i am showing you how to do this so if i basically have a function function add and basically i am expecting x and y so now basically i will return this x plus y so this is the gray symbol the gray sim symbol signifies that this code is not executed this line is not executed the fourth line and if you just see the bottom of the say volubi tools here it is added here just after the run and debug option so this lets you debug your code so simply open this and now you will see no logged values so this is a very uh, significant window here so basically now if i call this function add and you can see on line 7 you can see we are calling this we need to pr provide the arguments here so now it will say if i provide 5 here it will say not defined because we need to provide two arguments here so it is live it is live code debugging here troubleshooting so put a comma and 5 if you hover this you will see the result instantly which is printed out to be 10 so this function is doing it is calculating the uh, addition of 5 plus 5 and it is displaying right away in the editor which is 10 so it's a very good 
feature of the pro version which is live code display which is showing to the, the code in a real time and here also you will see on line 7 and if I change the business logic to minus so now you will see it will turn out to be 0 here also you would, it will show if you also print out if you just click the individual parameters it will say 5 here it is past 5 so I can change this also to 6 you will see 6 so in each and every location you can just troubleshoot and uh, you can say how much where which values are passed to the function so they, thereby you can definitely be able to troubleshoot the code so I can also divide this like this which comes out to be 5 here you will see here also 5 and uh, you can also create arrays also so if I have a num I create an array so you will see 6, 7, 4, 5 and they, the paid to the paid addition has a feature which is of live comment so basically you can also live comment here simply put a question mark and it will display the value which is 6745 the value here and also what you can do is that inside this another pay comment is there live editor dollar star and like this and then inside this you can write a question mark dollars and then you can say here dollar dot slice you can provide uh, some methods here you can just say 0 comma 2 so you can see 6 and 7 so basically it has sliced the first two elements of the array here which is 6 and 7 you can change this to 3 here 6, 7, 4. So you can also perform individual operations on a particular line of code here with these live comments here which is uh, the paid feature of this tool. So definitely I will suggest you if you want to troubleshoot your code if you make any sort of YouTube videos on a daily basis you should definitely buy this tool because uh, it will be a very handy tool in order to see the instant result in the editor itself. You need not have to save your code and every time open the browser to see the result so this will hardly reduce the time so this is a very good feature so one of the feature that I wanted to tell you guys is uh, you can also install individual modules so basically if I create another new JavaScript file so basically there are various modules out there of Node.js which you want to use inside your files let's suppose this module is moment which is a date library so basically it is saying that if I type here moment it will say that cannot find module moment so the nice feature of the paid edition is that simply hover onto this and you, you will see this option install moment package for the current quaka file simply click this option and now you will see it will install this now you can uh, have this you can see it turn into green now you can use the moment library here itself in the quaka file you can install you can just troubleshoot all the methods that it has basically if you type here moment like this in the this pane you can see it will show you all the methods it supports the functions you will you will see all the function it supports here like this prototype construction so you will see all the documentation here itself inside the editor you don't need to go to the documentation in order to explore each and every method so this is also a very good feature of this extension you will see all this add calendar clone constructor dates difference all that stuff format prototype constructor so it's a good feature to list out all the methods of a particular node.js package so I think it's a very good feature and uh, let me show you a very good feature again also let's suppose I want to display the current date which is simply I will declare a variable here current date so here we can use here moment so if I basically hover onto this you will see it will display this result to us which is it is not formatted here 
so we can say a console log current date so it is not formatted now we can use the format method of moment so here we can pass here simply we can pass here like this december this is for the month so here we can say d o 29th december and for the year you will say y y y so 29 december 2021 so this is very cool you can see the result instantly inside your editor and then also if you want to put the time also you can say here put a comma you can say minute you can if you want to see the time also you can say here i think i forgot the symbol here so i think this is yes hh hh -h minute and second so you will see 23946 second is there which is am you can see this is the full date we have printed out 29 december 2021 which is 2 o'clock 39th minute and 54 second you can see it is currently updating here in the editor itself so this is a very good feature guys you should definitely look into this extension which is a paid extension i am on a i am using the pro edition it is valid for until 12th january i will definitely try to buy this because i own the youtube channel i on a daily basis i make videos so it's very handy to troubleshoot the code in the editor itself so it will save a lot of time also and uh, definitely try to do this one of the package is that if you are working for the api as well let's suppose you are fetching some data from the api and uh, there is some a method a package which is fetch which is node fetch so you will see it is automatically it has installed it so now we can use this method here so we can declare uh, a method here which is simply will be a get data so basically it will be a async function so here we will provide the id here like this so it is you can see async is not defined so you you definitely know that there contains some kind of error here so we can see, easily fix this like this so now it turns green here so our code is correct so now basically here we can just make a simple get request we can just say fetch and here we can pass the url so simply we will use the json placeholder api typo code dot com and here we will pass the id which it is passed here that's it and now basically what we can do is that we can print the response here which is uh, first of all we need to convert to the data so we will say await response json that's it and now you can see these are gray lines because these are not executed if i call this function get data and we pass the id which is 5 you will see console log so now hopefully it should display it console log data i think it's a promise here yeah. 
you will see this contains an empty object so again we i i think we need to convert this data to await data dot json so you will see many a time you will be coming to this situation here it will exactly pinpoint tell you that which line is creating the error so i exactly know that this line is creating the error so i can simply go to the internet and just type here json placeholder node fetch example so it will give me the correct code here so simply i will just you will see this is the thing i am talking about simply i will paste this here simply paste it so you will see it is making the request here and here it is saying undefined you can see so let me delete all this so So you can see we we can you can see it is returning some data here you can see here so all this data you can just see inside your code here here also you can see line five response is all this stuff here which is the HTML stuff so also you can work with the API also with this help of tool so thanks so much guys I think you have liked this tool so definitely try this tool Quaka. It's a basically a scratch pad. It is a very code debugging tool for both TypeScript and JavaScript. You can also try the TypeScript file also. If you just try type here Quaka new Java TypeScript file. So here you can just write valid TypeScript code. So you can just uh, try to just troubleshoot your code. So sample, I don't know much about TypeScript. So I can just say hello world TypeScript program. I love to just learn TypeScript. So you will see this is the valid in order to just this is valid TypeScript code. So you can see if I make any sort of mistake here. So it will just say here. Message is not defined. You can say left is not defined. So this is valid for both TypeScript and JavaScript guys definitely try this tool to try to debug and troubleshoot your code. Uh, I will be seeing you in the next video. Please like the video.